not too long ago. The dynamic 5'8 point guard made a name for himself. From the confidence he carried on a gamely basis to his absolute outstanding leadership. But it wasn't always like that. In fact, he is a player that has been through it all and a lot of people doubted him. And truthfully, that's only made him even hungrier to be great. But he just stayed the course and just kept improving every single year. This is the Marquise Noel story. Marquise Noel was born on December 25th, 1999 in New York City. Now all the passion and drive that Noel always carried with him started at a very young age as he resided in a modest apartment in Brooklyn, New York. There he would dream big about playing basketball at the next levels as basketball was completely instilled in him from his older siblings and everything he learned on the court practically came from his father as that was his mentor. There was even a point in time when Marquise and his father spent three months playing with his big brother at every park they could find after he was not selected for the grassroots team at age seven. But with Noel always having that New York type grit and griminess to him, he just kept going. There would be countless nights that Marquise would partake in hardcore shooting drills until his body couldn't take the strain. Noel kicked off his high school campaign at St. Anthony High School in Jersey City, New Jersey and played under the legendary Bob Hurley. But following a lack of playing time, he decided to make the transfer following his freshman year to Bishop Lowland Memorial High School in his sophomore season. There he became a dog and lit up every single one of the gyms that he played at. From the amount of confidence he played with to his overall leadership. As a junior, he put up an impressive 20 points and eight assists a contest. And despite him always being the smallest player on the court, it just never phased him. And a lot of times it just seemed as though nobody could stop him when he had the ball in his hand. But even after his amazing junior year, he was still underranked. But for his senior campaign, he decided to take his talents into Kyrie Irving's alma mater, the Patrick School, in Elizabeth, New Jersey. He put up 11 points per game that season. Now he did miss a month long absence due to injuries, which stagnated his momentum which left Noel receiving hardly any big time offers after high school until finally he joined Little Rock. As a freshman, he was able to put up 11 points, four assists, and three rebounds, but was extra feisty on defense, which allowed him to get nearly two steals a contest. But he came back even harder in his sophomore year. This time around, he was putting up 17 points, five assists, and three rebounds, which allowed him to be named to the first team all Sun Belt. Now, in January of 2020, he was suspended for two games due to disciplinary reasons. And once he returned, his role was mostly off the bench. But that next season, as he entered his junior year, he put up 14 points, six assists, four rebounds, and two steals a game. And after his third season at Little Rock, he decided to make a change of scenery and found his way at Kansas State. And truthfully, he was very fortunate to not have to sit a year as he was able to produce on the court right away. He started in 21 games of his very first year with the Wildcats. He put up 12 points, five assists, and two steals per contest. But with him leading the charge, the team only maintained an overall record of 14-17 and finished second to last in the Big 12 Conference. But the jump that Noel and his team made this season is quite astonishing. And a big part of the success was Keontae Johnson, who has undoubtedly been that glue guy to the team. Did anyone know that Marquise was far from being finished? Because not only was he named to the first team all Big 12, the 5A guard was also part of the all defensive team. But as he touched down in the NCAA tournament, He's literally set the whole basketball world on notice and his composure and toughness, no doubt, has made him perfect for the big stage. Marquis scored 17 points and recorded a career high 14 assists during a 77-65 first round win over Montana State. And on March 19th, he put up 27 points and dished out nine assists in a second round win over the Kentucky Wildcats. And on March 23rd, Noel did the unthinkable, 
because while playing on a sprained ankle, he put up 20 points, got 5 steals, and dished out 19 assists in an overtime win, which set a new NCAA tournament record for a single game. Now as his team proceeded to the Elite 8, all eyes was on him, and truthfully, he didn't disappoint. He put up 30 points, 12 assists, and got 5 steals, but in a loss to Florida Atlantic. But truthfully, he left it all on the floor in his last official college game. Marquise Noel has always performed with a tremendous amount of heart and grit, and even when he wasn't highly recruited and completely counted out due to his short stature, he always just knew who he was as a player which has allowed him to go down as a March Madness sensation. Um, you know, I'm just truly blessed and grateful. I mean, you know, it wasn't the outcome that I wanted it to, um, to be like, but I'm just truly blessed to have these guys by my side, um, have a coaching staff that, you know, cares about me on and off the court. Um, and I just think about, you know, all the times that we had, all the good memories that we had, you know, throughout the season. Um, but, you know, God's plans, not our plans. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Marquise Noel story.